Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video here, we're going to talk about the YOLO V8 model. We're basically just going to get an overview. We're going to see some benchmarks and performance, going to do some comparisons with some of the previous versions of YOLO. And then we're also just going to see what is special with this YOLO V8 model. So let's now just jump straight into Autolytics documentation. If we go inside our models tab up at the top, then if we just go inside our YOLO V8, we can see that this is the latest iteration of the YOLO series for real-time optic detection, but we can also do optic segmentation, post estimation, classification, and so on with a single model. This is offering cutting edge performance in terms of accuracy and speed, building upon the advancement of previous YOLO models, and also YOLO V8 introduces new features and optimizations that make it ideal choice for various optic detection tasks in a wide range of applications that could be for like autonomous cars, detecting different kind of like parts, pedestrians, counting systems. And it could also be industrial use cases where you want to de detect defects and so on in different parts, products, and so on. So if you just take a look at the graphs here, we can see that to the left, we have the number of parameters and then also the mean error position on the Coco data set. So again, the smaller parameters, the better the model because then it can run faster, but we also need higher precision. And then over here to the right, we have the latency on an A100 from NVIDIA. This is the model's optimized on Tensor RT with floating point 16 bits. And the latency is basically just like how many milliseconds it takes to process a single image. So how many frames per seconds can we get by running these models? So we have different variations of the YOLO models. We have the nano, small, medium, large, and also the extra large models, which is also the case for YOLO V5. If we just take a look at the general results here, we can see that the YOLO V8 model significantly outperforms all the other models. We can see here that the, that the small model has comparable results with the medium model, the nano model with the small model and so on. But we can see over here to the left that these models here act like significantly faster, especially if we take a look at this small model. And also the medium model here, we get good performance that X large models, again, they're just outperforming on both the mean error position. It is both faster, but it is also more precise compared to the previous versions of YOLO. So let's now go down and take a look at some of the key features. So to have this advanced backbone and also the neck architectures. So to have the state of the art backbone and neck, neck architectures, which is basically just for feature extraction in the backbone, we find features in our images before we feed those features into our head, which acts like does um, the predictions before we actually like feed it into our head with thus the predictions. So YOLO V8 here adopts an anger-free split autolytics head. So we basically just split out the heads at the end, which is doing the predictions for the classes, but also the bounding boxes. And it is anger-free, which means that we don't have these predefined bounding boxes that we need, need to sort and actually like combine at the end. So it basically just extracts all the information from the features and then it predicts the predictions and then it predicts the bounding boxes and also the classes directly on those features. It is optimized for accuracy and speed trade-off. Again, this is the fastest model that you can get out there when we're talking about speed and accuracy trade-off. They have a variety of pre-trained models as we already went over. They support task gear modes, optic segmentation, into segmentation like post estimation, finding key points in like humans. It could also be in animals and so on. We can also do classification and all these different kind of things. They both support inference, validation, training, export, and so on. We have covered all of those things in the previous videos here on the Autolytics channel. And again, you can run this with only a couple of lines of code. There's tutorials for all of it, so definitely check that out. We also have some performance metrics here on the different data sets. So we have like on the Coco data set, Open Images version 7, Coco dataset, ImageNet here for classification and also Coco for pose. And again, we can see the size of our images, mean average position. We can also see that we get pretty good performance on running these models on the CPU and also Tensor RT optimized models. We can see all the performance metrics, both for detection, segmentation, classification, and also post estimation. Down at the bottom here, we can see a user examples, but we have already covered that in all the other videos on this channel. We just need to import YOLO from Autolytics, create an instance of a class. We can specify the file that we want to use for the YOLO V8 model. They will download the weights automatically, so we don't have to do anything. We can train the model, we can export the model, and then we can also run inference directly, and we can throw in various numbers of arguments into that in different formats. So you can take a webcam, video, folder, images, images, and so on. You don't have to do anything copy paste this, write a couple of lines of code and you're good to go. So I hope you all learned a ton in this video here about YOLO V8 and also just like introducing it to its capabilities and also the performance compared to the previous models. So definitely go in, check this one out here, try it out yourself and also check out all the other videos here on the Autolytics channels. And then I'll just see you in the next video guys. Bye for now.